in this video, I kind of want to go through and give a little bit of a rewrite to how our inventory kind of works, so how it adds items. So that way we can simplify when we go to remove them, and it'll make it easier when we go to like stack the items and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I want to have a limit of how many items can be added. So we have three here. Let's uh let's just add a couple more. We should have a good bit. We have three, four, five, six, seven. Let's say go three, four, five, ten, fifteen. We'll do twenty items as our max. Get rid of all of those. So I want this to be that'll be twenty different items. So realistically, at our current state, we're only going to uh, we're only going to have two. So the way we're going to do this is let's go to our widgets. Let's go to our W underscore inventory item. Let's click on our I underscore item image. And I want to actually set this. Let's set the color and opacity. Let's take the alpha down to zero. So that way it's completely transparent. Then for the button, I want to go through and there should be something regarding disable. What's volatile? I have no clue. I'll read that later. All right, here it is, visibility. So I want to set this one to hidden. Or not visible, but aquas, no. I want to do not hit testable. And self and all children. So let's set that, compile, save. Actually, we could honestly just do that with the... Uh... Never mind, that'll take care of that. So whenever we go through and have our items, let's go ahead and actually add a bunch for testing. Let's go to our... Uh... W underscore inventory, go to our begin or our construct, and let's just simply call add item a bunch of times. So let's do a for each or a for loop. We're gonna do 20. We're gonna call add item each time, and we want to construct this. So let's just uh what is it create or f item or is it item? Make item data. There it is. So we just want to connect that. We're just going to create an empty one. Don't really care. Why are you not working? All right, we got to create the inventory item. So we want to create that. So it's a create widget of the inventory item. Then we pass in item data. And then we can pass in the widget. Well, there we go. Here's our test. So we're going to add 20 empty elements. Press I. And there we go. Here's our inventory grid. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 14, 21. Let's, uh, here, we'll just be lazy to start the index at 1. So now we should have 20. There we go. 7, 14, 20. Great. So we know what it looks like. Now, I kind of want to make it so... Whenever we pick up an item, let's see what happens when we pick these up and look at it. We still have the issue. So we have 7, 14, 20, 21, 22. But they're still grayed out. We can't click it. So when we add an item, so let's call, let's go over to add item. We add the child of our, you know, our item, obviously. I want to take this and have a simple function for it. To uh, make it, you know, visible, so to speak. So this inventory item in the construct, if item class is valid and the image is valid, then I want to set the opacity to one for the for the image and enable the button. So let's click on our image. It is a variable, so that's i underscore item, and then we have our button, which is b underscore item. So let's do some checks first. So let's, uh, we'll disconnect these. Actually, I want to link you up still. And move them out of the way. So let's search for a valid. Or better yet, we can do this in one. So let's do is valid. And is valid class. And we're going to search for an and boolean. 
So if our class is valid and the item image is valid, we want to perform a branch. So if those two are valid, we will then, one, we want to set our brush. But first off, let's get our image. Let's set the uh, color and opacity. That should be one, I think. Yeah, we'll just set it like that by default. So that way it has, you know, correct opacity. And then we go through and we can set the brush. Is there just no opacity? Yes, there is. So let's remove the set color and opacity and just to set opacity, set it to one. And then we'll hook up the set brush from texture. So for that, we need our texture, obviously. And then we want to enable the button. So we grab the B underscore item button, search for visible, set visibility, and we want to make sure it's set to visible. So that way, these items here, when we pick these up, they now show themselves and we can now click on them, but not any other buttons. So what I want to try to be able to do is kind of set it so let me make sure these still work, which they do. I want to make it so we can kind of have a spot in the grid, kind of wherever we want, that these items will be stored. So these are just going to be kind of empty slots. And when we add an item, I want to go to the first slot, like, like this is just a filled grid. So that way, obviously, if you want to, you can improve upon this and make everything scale properly, <laughs> which I'm not doing because one i suck with widgets and two this is not a widget tutorial that's kind of how we were we want to take care of that so when we add the item we're adding a child to it however we search for add we kind of have some you know let's see does these take any parameters no we have the issues of the wrap box of it's going to continually add, not at a specific index. It's just going to add them to the very end. So in the next few videos, we're going to have to change this from a wrap box to something like, like a different panel. So something like a grid panel or a uniform grid panel or something like that. So that way, you know, it all actually fits. So that, what I mean by that is let's actually add a uniform grid panel real quick. For the example, over here, uniform grid panel, and search for add. When we go through, we add a child. Well, that doesn't help. Where is it? Add child to uniform grid. We can choose what row and what column we want to add the item. So what we can do is we can loop through our array, figure out, okay, we have, well, when we go to stack items, we would loop through it and figure out, okay, here's the items that we want to add, for example. Or let me rephrase that. If we do not have an item in the array, what we want to do is go through and find the next empty slot. So that would be the, for example, in this one, that would be this slot. Let's say we have an item already here. Well, then it would be this slot and so on. So that's how we want to alter that. So we would do it specifically by the rows and the columns. And I think we can divide that up to you divide out the rows by the column or the number of elements you want in each row or I don't know I have to look up whatever the formula was but it's something simple so that way we can set it up that way so I think uh, that's pretty much all we're gonna do so I want to set that up in the next video and that'll really kind of I guess clean some things up for us so Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Let me actually delete the grid panel real quick. That's going to be it for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to nearly all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.